In order to further develop the turbine wheel in shot blast machines, comprehensive analysis is required of the flow of the abrasive, beginning with its entry into the feed system and continuing through to its exit from the control cage and final ejection via the turbine blades. Schlick Rotojet, a leader in shot blast technology, has optimized the flow of abrasive through the turbine and made this the starting point when developing the new turbine generation ITA. The arriving abrasive, added with air, is already swirled and prepared while being fed. Inner and outer impellers make sure that the abrasive is evenly distributed over the whole width of the turbine centre by a gentle two-stage pre-acceleration. The controller in front of the control cage window prevents the abrasive from being thrown out of the window without control and leaves no other possibility for the abrasive but to take the way along the inside wall of the control cage. The abrasive then emerges tangentially out of the control cage and is gently taken over by the throwing blades. In conventional turbine wheel systems, a considerable portion of the available energy remains unused because of the largely chaotic behavior of the abrasive in the turbine center and inadequate abrasive control. Moreover, they create a blast pattern with a very small zone of pronounced abrasive concentration, the so-called hotspot. Because the processing speed depends on the portion of the workpiece surface with the lowest blasting intensity, this hotspot leads to excessive blasting of the hot workpiece surfaces. Additional disadvantages of the high abrasive concentration are, above all, the energy loss caused by the interaction of abrasive particles, the unnecessary high level of abrasive consumption, and the concentrated wear and tear. Schlick Rotojet's next generation ETA turbine combines the proven quality of the Rotojet double disc turbine with a completely new system for pre-accelerating abrasive inside the turbine. Controlling and directing the flow of material through the turbine results in a significantly more even distribution of the abrasive over both the length and width of the blast pattern. By precisely measuring the abrasive flow rate and using video-based measurements of the ejection speed, we have gathered the necessary practical data to optimize the efficiency of the ETA turbine. For this purpose, as the first in the world, Schlick Rotojet counts on the most up-to-date high-speed camera technology. The use of modular design in our turbines and the unit construction principle make it possible to easily convert existing rotojet turbines using an ITA retrofit kit. All in all, the use of the new turbine generation ITA grants a higher efficiency and a more homogeneous blast result with lower expenditure of energy and lower wear and tear compared to the conventional turbine wheel systems. <laughs>